Here in Nairobi, Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko's fate now lies in the hands of 67 senators who will hear and determine a motion to remove him from office. This is after the leader of the majority, Samuel Pogisho, abandoned a plan to constitute an 11-member committee that would have investigated the impeachment. Sources say that the change of tact is intended at making it harder for Governor Sonko to infiltrate and influence the Senate as he faces an increasingly desirous force for his ouster. Our Sam Gitugu reports of the predicament that awaits the flamboyant city chief. It had been expected that a committee of 11 would be constituted and approved at the floor of the House until the leader of majority chose to abandon the motion last minute. Speaker, sir, for the convenience of the House, I propose we skip that. I'm not going to give notice. Having withdrawn or otherwise abandoned the notice of motion and therefore the motion, the root of committee is therefore abandoned and that now means that the Senate will investigate this matter in plenary. I will be gazetting Thursday, 17th December 2020 and Friday, 18th December 2020 as the dates on which the Senate shall undertake the investigations of this matter in plenary. Representative of the Nairobi County Assembly, who by supermajority voted to remove Sonko last week, will be first to present their evidence against the governor. Sonko is accused of, among other things, abuse of office, violation of the Constitution, and different laws on utilization of public funds. Details of the anticipated Committee of 11 emerging, the Jubilee side of the Senate was to comprise Senator Samson Cherarge of Nandi County, Hargura Godana of Marsabit, Abdullahi Ali of Wajir, nominated Senators Alice Milgo and Christine Zawadi, alongside Kirinyaga's independent Senator Charles Kibiru. From the minority side were Senator Zokongo Mugeni of Nyamira, Mombasa's Mohamed Faki, Fred Ota of Kisumu, and nominated Senators Judith Pareno of ODM and Petronila Were of ANC. On a very important matter. That changed when Pogishi abandoned the plot, sources telling Citizen TV there is desire to remove Governor Sonko from office. Were the committee to defeat the impeachment motion, then the matter would end there. And whole removal of the governor is achievable through the committee, it would require a second round of voting at the Senate plenary, a process that is deemed as longer and risky. Fear being Sonko was likely to use his influence to manipulate the process. The assignment now made harder for him as he faces the plenary of 67 senators and 47 delegations from the counties. The odds may be against Sonko, 11 months after a similar predicament befell Kambu's Fannan Waititu, who was removed by the plenary in January this year. Uh, Should the city governor be removed, the Nairobi County Assembly Speaker Benson Mutura is likely to take over in an acting capacity for a period of 60 days, during which an election will be held to elect a new governor and deputy governor for Nairobi. Sonko has not had a deputy who would take over from him since Polikapi Gade resigned in January 2018. Sam Kitoko Citizen TV, Nairobi.